It's been a while since I've been on the rooftop. Let's see if I still remember how to do a review. We have Luciano, the dreamer, Bellicoso. Let's enjoy the sunset, kick back and enjoy the cigar. You guys stay with me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is EKB, EKB TV. We're back with another review. We have Luciano, the dreamer. Let's take a look at this cigar. So we have a five and a half by 52 Bellicoso. Very beautiful, burnish, reddish brown cigar. Uh, minimal veins on it. Uh, beautiful looking wrapper. You can see the black and white Luciano representation on the band and the copper band at the foot. This is an elegant cigar. Nice woody smell, uh, fresh from the humidor. Nice approach to this cigar. You guys know, I'm a fan of Ace Prime. I like Luciano Mirales. Uh, I like what Pichardo is doing. I don't have many negative things to say about the brand as a whole. I just like their approach to blending, to wrapping, their treatment of tobacco and the fermenting process, the knowledge behind it. And that's just a sign of a good brand in general. As for the construction of the cigar, we have a Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. The binder is Nicaraguan and the fillers are Nicaraguan and Peruvian. So that is a nice blend. Uh, the way the cigar looks, it should smoke fantastically as well. Uh, let's get into the details. We're gonna cut and light and enjoy the cigar. Upon light up, you get a very bright flavor. There's a hint of leather in there, and there's also the cedar component. And there's a very fresh and vibrant citrusy type component to this. Um, I know this is gonna take some time to develop, and there's gonna be a lot more to come. There's also a, a nutty uh, kind of hint on the palate as well, too. It kind of stays around and lingers a little bit, but it's not super prominent. The pepper is there, but it's not super significant. This just from the start tastes like it's gonna have a lot of changes and a lot of evolutions to go as the cigar goes along. There's a few cracks in this, but it's kind of affecting the burn, but nothing too crazy. It's a decent draw. I'm expecting this to kind of change and get better as the cigar goes along. Not too snug, not the most perfect draw either. There's a lot to develop. We'll see how this goes along. I'm gonna get into the earlier portions of this, kick back, enjoy the cigar, and then come back with some details for you guys. Back with you guys. Kind of giving a lopsided burn on this one. I'm not gonna touch it up. I'm just gonna kind of allow it to do its thing, see what works. What's interesting about the Luciano, the Dreamer as a whole was very popular on its initial release, uh, especially when it came to the Lancero that it was released in. It was in 2021, it got rave reviews. There was a lot of great feedback and just kind of a push for this cigar. And this year, there was a release of three more cigars, technically four, but there were three more cigars, different sizes, uh, Toro, this Bellicoso, and an, uh, another short Lancero. And the attention to the Dreamer hasn't been as grand or as bold as it was for the Lancero. A lot of the reviews that I've seen are kind of, you know, so-so. The flavor profile on this is interesting and it kind of, you know, draws you into the cigar. This is a very bright and woody cigar. That's one thing that you can kind of uh, really kind of draw and make this cigar unique. It kind of reminds me of uh, a lemon tea. So there's an earthiness to it. There's a hint of the citrus in there. Um, and it kind of gives you this warm brightness to the cigar. As far as the construction of the burn, um, there's a very fermented taste. And it kind of leads to uh, a very fermented and kind of a slow burn on this. This one is kind of awkward, but we have a long way to go on the cigar. So we're going to continue on. Moving into the heart of the cigar. The flavor profile has transitioned, but it was way different than what I expected. Uh, originally, there was a, kind of a honey sweetness. There was a, a hint of the pepper. 
and the leathery notes that I had mentioned before with the citrus that was there. Most of that is dissipated. This is more leather than wood. The pepper is there, but it's less on the palate and more in how it affects your sinuses and the back of your throat. You kind of get this uh, dry wood, peppery, you know, kind of itch in the back of your throat. I want to kind of focus on that, how it connects to how this cigar is burning and how the cigar smokes. The construction of this cigar is very oily, very slow burning, and there's not a full bodiness to the smoke profile. It's there, but it's not the strongest, and the draw hasn't really changed from the beginning of the cigar. I must say that I'm not completely blown away by this cigar. Um, this is one of those where you're smoking it, but you're constantly looking for something more to come with this cigar. You're looking for more of a co cohesive blend. You're looking for something more tantalizing to the palate and it's kind of lacking on this. I never touched this cigar up. I haven't done anything extra to it. It's just been, I've been allowing it to work and do its own thing. I mean, it's not a horrible experience, but it's a lot more pedestrian than I expected. Gonna continue on and I'll come back with more details. All right, let's wrap this up. Luciano in the Bella Colso. This is a very oily, wood focused, slow burning cigar. I would say it's a medium medium to full strength the body on the smoke is i would say medium to mild the flavor is lacking i gotta be honest this is probably the most disappointing ace prime cigar that i've ever had kind of disappointed in this i wanted this to be more of a enjoyable smoke i could sit out here enjoy the sunset enjoy my view i didn't really get that with this cigar it was lacking a lot. I rarely ever smoke one, more than one cigar in a day, but this cigar has me wanting to go back and get another cigar so I can enjoy my environment out here. It's leaving a lot to be desired. So kind of take that as you will. You guys can comment and tell me what you think about the Dreamer, but this is one of those that it really didn't hit the spot. It didn't really um, kind of add anything to my palate it didn't really make me want to continue to smoke the cigar that's the review it's ekb ekb tv you guys stay tuned got more reviews right here more from ace prime uh you guys let me know what you think you guys stay tuned peace